Hi and welcome back to Inktuberfest day 7. My name is Emily and in this video we're gonna talk a little bit about kaleidoscope powders as watercolors and I will share a technique with you where I am using them together with the, the Color Hive reinkers from Make a Forte and the nice thing is that they will coordinate with them. So kaleidoscope powders comes in these cute jars and it's a powder, a mica powder and you use them you can use them on all sort of uh, for all sorts of fun techniques and some of them are actually glow in the dark and that's the one we are mainly going to focus on so you can see here the one i'm picking up now the bittersweet the lime wired and the rara skirt are all glow in the dark ones and we're going to use them and i'm also going to share a technique where i'm using the snow flurries that is just creating this nice shimmer so you can mix it with any watercolors that you already have in your stash you can see i put it here in my palette and you can just create a shimmery watercolor in seconds so you don't have to buy any special um watercolors that are shimmery so you can just create your own if you have that one and i will also use the black hole um, kaleidoscope powders in a second here or at the end of this video so to start off I will use this tray just to show you how you can mix and match these uh, um, these reinkers with the Make a Forte uh, kaleidoscope powders and I just had fun I went with it and created my own sort of watercolors here with the reinkers and you could I will share how you can use these alone as well but I find that you get a more intense result if you're mixing it with uh, watercolors or if you're mixing it with um, reinkers as I'm doing in this video. So I'm using a lot of paint brushes and I'm using some washer just to uh, uh, mute the colors down a little bit more and make them easier to work with and I have a piece of watercolor paper here that I will bring into the screen I have the Canson XL watercolors so I just have a piece of paper here and you can see how it looks when I'm just spreading it out on this sheet and um, I'm just mixing it until I get the consistency that I liked and then I sort of wanted to try how this will look together so then I brought in the lime wired uh, kaleidoscope powders I think this is the first time I ever am using just this shade of uh, this one so I was excited to see how it would turn out so I took my little brush here I'm just brushing it off to my the back of my hand just to make sure I don't have any contamination between colors of my kaleidoscope powders so you don't need a lot of these you can just have a couple of them and here you can see how it will look I actually wanted to test this out so I just turn off all my lights and you can see how fun that is and you can see the other colors showing through um, which are also glow in the dark so now I, when I had that figured out that uh, this was the way I wanted to go with this product just to create a glow in the dark product, I started to mix up some of the colors here just to have um, them ready to go. And I spritzed them with water and I did the same thing to the other ones as well. And then I took a yellow. This one is actually not glow in the dark. So you will see that it won't turn up uh, in the photos that is taken in the dark but in real life when you're watching it in like daylight it really is a bright fun yellow so you will see it very nicely so this is a large stamp set also from Make Up it's called Your Berry Sweet I believe this is in collaboration with Alex Abiria and I love this and I used uh, Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink this is a water, um, this ink take water, takes watercolor really well and it has this crisp outline and it's just nice for watercoloring. So I have my stamped image ready and I have my watercolors to the side also ready to go and I will speed off, up uh, this part where I'm just coloring in all of my image here. So this took 
no time at all and you can see how vibrant that color is and of course that it's so fun that it glows in the dark uh, when you turn all the lights off and I think the recipient if you would make this into a card for example now I will just have it on my tag but if I will make this into a card I think they would like when they bring it out of the envelope and everything it's dark inside and they could maybe see uh, that it's glowing inside of that envelope I think that would be such a fun fun um, for the recipient to get that card so you can see I'm just playing around and I did no shading. I did nothing fancy with the coloring today. I just kept the colors um, like they were. I just wanted the intensity of those powders and reinkers to do this thing. So it really is glow in the dark when I'm turning the lights off. And I just love this. I have so many ideas on what I can use and how I can use these together. So I did some shadings for the leaves because I I just had the energy to do it. But for the berries I pretty much kept them simple. And for my stem here I brought in an even darker reinker that I had from the Color Hive collection. And I just painted it. And I mixed it into the already green kaleidoscope powders uh, and they are already glow in the dark so you will see that all of this will turn up when I'm turning my camera off or the light off I'm sorry so by the way if you want to see even more inspiration for me you can also visit my Instagram or my uh, Facebook page I will leave links down below for those so for the tag itself I wanted to create some splatters that also will glow in the dark so I took the remaining um, colors that I had mixed on my palette and just brought it to a splatter box and then I splatter it. Then I spent some time fussy cutting all of my images out here and it took a while. And by the way, when you're using kaleidoscope powders, you want to use some kind of fixative. But since I used water, it's already fixated, so you don't have to do anything with it to make it stay stay on your page so that is a nice benefit when you are mixing it with water so here is my first tag pretty much finished and now you can see how it looks when it's all glow in the dark i think this is super fun and in the pictures uh, I actually hold my page or my tag up to the camera so when I took the pictures they were really sort of loaded <laughs> so it turned out super nicely in the picture so here I'm just showing you which colors that I used for my project today and I actually have a bonus tag for you I just wanted to share that you can use this yeah, as a watercolor in itself also so I took and mixed a couple of more um, shades of kaleidoscope powders but this time they are not glow in the dark so they are just the powders and the reinkers and I will share with you how it looks when it's just um, the kaleidoscope powders and how light this turned up and how dark it is when you are mixing it in with some Rinkers. So you could actually use this and it's really shimmery and nice but I brought in a reinker. I believe that was maybe it's one of the newer colors maybe telephone box or something like that so that is the difference and I know that the camera isn't picking it up how sparkly this is so I will bring in my phone and maybe you can get a glimpse out of how much that shimmers so beautiful so I did this with a lot of more colors and I will share a couple of more how I did this and I just brought in some blue and mixed it up. So I will speed this off quite a lot but you can see how it looks on its own and how it, the blue colors look when I am mixing it in with the blue reinkers here. And uh, you can use whatever you like if you're going for a more subtle look or if you want the intensity. And now this is such a fun bonus tag for you today. I am going to town with all of the colors that I created for, for today. And I used a broader uh, brush here just to be able to put down a lot of color. And you can see I'm just using up whatever I have left there. And it looks 
awful, I know, but I will fix it in the end and I hopefully you will like it as much as I do because you can see that this brings some intensity to the powders in different uh, areas and some areas will be more color. So it's super shiny and beautiful and it catches the light, light nicely and so easy to do of course when you're just going to town having fun. And I love this technique and I hope you will too because I took some black Eclipse cardstock from Make A Forte and I will mix it with the Kaleidoscope Powders Black Hole and this will create this wonderful metallic cardstock. I can't believe I haven't tried this before because it was so easy and now when I'm looking at it I think I can create any sort of metallic looking cardstock that I want just using my regular like um, colored cardstock. So look what you have in your stash and you can create something similar. And I know it looks like a lot of stripes from the brush here, but I promise you, you will not notice that as much when it's all finished here. So here you can see the difference from the first cardstock to this cardstock and it has this wonderful silvery metallic look and I think it would be fantastic on an industrial page with an industrial feel to it. So I will use a die to cut uh, a piece of this out and it's called Dear to Me, this uh, die set from Make a Forte. Just love it but when I looked at this page or Make a Forte's page before I did this voiceover I saw that it was sold out. I hope it's back in stock but if it isn't you can always use any of their other dies to do something similar or just look what you have in your stash and you can use that one. So, so super easy to use their dies. The, the dies are coated so it releases the paper nicely. And I'm just using a tool from Make a Forte, a poking tool here. And I love that it's rainbow by the way. <laughs> and I'm just poking my paper out. You can see how pretty that is and that background that we created, it's magical together with this metallic cardstock. And I believe I, I'm a card making myself, so I, I'm imagining this on a card uh, with these two techniques. But if you're into journaling or creating spec <laughs> scrapbooking pages or... Um, Whatever, I think you can use this technique like a focal point or as a background or whatever. Just a nice tip and I I was so inspired. I know I will be creating more with this technique in the future. So I hope you liked our two projects for today and got inspired and hopefully learned something new and saw your products in a new way. Maybe you can use these and just bring some more life to what you already have. And um, I will link all the products that I used for this video down below. And I will link also my YouTube channel and uh, Make A Forte's page. And um, don't forget to visit Make A Forte's Instagram account because there will be a lot of giveaways all month long. So until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye! <laughs>